Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a run through about what you can expect or what I expect at CES and CP Plus. They're the two big expos to kick off the year. CES is on right now, CP Plus is the end of January, early February in Japan, and a whole heap of stuff is going to get announced. So if you've been watching this channel, you will have seen there's already loads of stuff being announced at CES. Something to keep in mind, CES is a consumer electronics, so that includes phones and DVD players and TVs and this and that. It's not specific on photography or imaging per se. Whereas CP Plus, which is held in Yokohama at the end of the year, at the end of the month, sorry, is specifically on imaging. Now that has traditionally led to a lot of uh, point and shoot and mid-range cameras being announced at CES where they need high volume sales and a big presence because CES is still a pretty huge show. Whereas the higher tier stuff, the new professional lenses, full frame cameras, flagship sort of products being announced at CP+. Another reason that that is the case other than the differentiation of the shows is that most of the camera companies are Japanese and CP Plus is held in Japan and the Japanese end of financial year is different to everyone else's and it's kind of in the middle or the end of the first quarter of the calendar year. So it's common for them to make announcements at CP Plus and to be getting them to market around the Japanese end of financial year to help boost the numbers. So for example, Fuji have just announced the X10 and the X100 replacements. But I would say if they're going to replace the X-Pro1 or upgrade it to a Pro2 or a 1.1 or whatever, that that would happen at CP+. Likewise, if there's going to be updates to things like the Nikon D90 or D300 or the Canon 7D or other higher end DSLRs or perhaps any of the DSLRs, I would expect them to be coming at CP+. Just my thoughts, but we'll see how it bears out. I'm going to be at CP+, so all the ones that are being announced now will be at CP+. Hopefully the firmware will be at a point where we're allowed to actually take sample pictures, or I'll try and do a sneaky one and get them anyway. And yeah, so make sure you subscribe. There'll be lots of these news and hands-on reviews coming over the next month. Well, to be honest, it just doesn't stop, does it? They're always announcing new stuff, so there'll be lots coming. Thanks for watching. Click the like and subscribe. You can jump over to that nikonguy.com forward slash community and get involved with the discussion there too, and what you think is going to be coming. Thanks. See ya.